Yeah, so today we're off to see my um, my batting coach, Richard Clifton. Um, I've known him for close to 18, 19 years now. Uh, I've known, I suppose he, he came across me in an under 13 uh, development squad. And uh, he was just one of the coaches that was watching. Uh, a lot of the Dowling Shield coaches went and watched these, these training sessions and um, he was one of them. And um, he uh, saw something in me and um, started doing some personal coaching. And um, I'd never sort of sought out private coaching before that. And then um, he was, um, I don't know, someone I, I seem to get along with really well. And um, from there, we just developed a, a really close relationship. I always feel like after every session I have with him, I, I feel feel more confident and, and walk out a, a happier player. And um, generally, being a happy cricketer is a is a good cricketer. Hello, mate. How are you? Good to see you. Looking well. Bloody good to see you. Uh, JL was talking about with me was making sure I was sort of watching the ball harder. I was wondering what you were doing. Yeah. Probably in a Hollywood movie. Well, he thought I wasn't watching the ball. Okay. Which is fair enough. I got basic principle though, isn't it? Pretty basic. Yeah. So he just goes, no foot, step, no yeah. foot, step, go. Step. Good. Bring your hands through. Hands through. Elbow up. Why'd you go over your shoulder? Well, when you said hands through, I was like, I'll just keep going through then. Yeah. Nah. Just extend through. Yeah. So basically, you're just going to make sure your elbow finishes up nice and high. Yep. Go. Good. By not moving your feet, if you do cut across it, it'll really, it just shows you that you're cutting across the ball. So you're keeping your hands straight, you've got to come through straight. It's all right. I think that's the one. I reckon that's the one I get stuck with sometimes. Yeah. I'll, I'll get to about there. I reckon my head's still about here. Yeah, and I don't reckon you transfer it through much. No. You're getting there and you're coming through like so. It'd be interesting to see it on video. Yeah. Instead of getting making sure your weight's transferring onto your front foot. So if you're here, you're getting into there and you're transferring through. Yeah. Bam. So all your weight is going to come through there. You stay back here. It's so easy to open your shoulders up. Yeah, it, just just, it just ends up being all hands. Yeah. I always tell people try and get to transfer your weight through your knee. Yeah. If you can transfer your weight through your knee, you've got to go in that direction. Yeah. If you move your head towards that line, where's your foot want to go? Wants to go straight towards to go it. To support it. But if you go over there, you go too straight, yeah. your head will follow that. Yeah. And then that's when you start to come inside out. Yep. You know, I don't know if that's just I me. Mean, I think if you can't get your head over it, probably you shouldn't play it. Yeah. You know, and I do think that we play too narrow as well. I still reckon your hips are a little bit too square. Your hips are a little bit too square. Hips are a little bit yeah. too square. Just that, that little way bit or open. That way. They come through and you're not really following the line. Yep. Good. Sorry, Goldie. One cameraman gone. <laughs> this is better for you. You've got your little cage around you, you're fine. <laughs> He's getting close to the action. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never seen him play a reverse sweep when he's with me. Yeah. Um, and we just work on getting everything coming through nice and straight. So it gets back to really basic stuff, which is, I don't know, I think it's probably good because when he goes out into different formats, it's different games he's got to play. Yeah. That last one felt like I was scared to hit it. How many runs do you want? Four? I want four. Yeah, good. Not six. No, four. not six, I want four. Yeah. God's sake. Feel a bit closed? Yeah, feel a little bit closed and you couldn't get through it? Yeah. yeah. Head was in a bad position at least. Well, maybe, maybe finish higher so you're coming through that line. Yeah. 
How good was that one? I always worry if they bat too well on synthetic. Because then they don't work hard enough. Four. That's better. Hit them all right. Yeah. A few more if that's okay. You tell me when to stop. Yeah. Whoa! Just take your time. Glenn, watch the bit ball. Bit too early. And this elbow pushing through. Yep. So you're getting into there, and then the elbow's coming up. If your elbow comes straight, yep. everything else will come straight. Yep. Uh, we've just had a hit here with Richard. Um, as always, he he only has to spend a little bit of time with me to sort of pick up something uh, from a from a batting technical wise, or even the way I'm moving, uh, pre-moving or whatever. So, um, as always, I finish the session, I always feel like I'm a better player after it. And I think that's key with having a coach is uh, someone who, who can, you can, re can relate to and someone who knows your game really well. And Richard certainly knows that. And um, even though we didn't do a whole wide range of strokes, it's, it's very specific. What we try and do is, is to make sure I'm moving well and, and hitting the ball um, at the right time as well. So. Um, yeah, as I said, always feel like a better player after having a hit with him. Yeah.